Once upon a time in a peaceful valley, there lived a wise and compassionate monk. He was known for his deep understanding of the human mind and his ability to guide others toward wisdom and peace. One day, a sad and troubled man arrived at the monastery where the monk resided. The man had been cheated numerous times in his life, leading to many financial setbacks, broken relationships, and a lingering sense of distrust. Since he had never been able to understand the true intentions of others, he often found himself facing losses and problems due to misjudging people's motives and intentions. With tears in his eyes, the man told a sad story to the monk and said, Venerable, please help me. I feel lost and burdened by my inability to read people's minds. I can't trust others, and this has led me to many troubles and heartaches. Please show me a way to overcome this. The monk smiled gently and said, I understand your pain, dear friend. It is indeed challenging to navigate the complexities of human interactions, but I will teach you a few ways to develop a deeper understanding of others and how to act accordingly. Then the monk began to say, If you want to read people's minds, then the first thing you need to do is observe their body language and expressions while someone is talking to you. Pay attention to their actions, body language, and tone, rather than relying only on their words. Actions often reveal more about a person's true intentions and character. The monk continued, Many times, people say something, but there is something else in their minds. Facial expressions, body actions, and tone cannot lie. I will tell you about five body languages by which you can read anyone instantly. The first is eye contact. Eye contact is essential in communication. A sustained eye contact often shows engagement, honesty, or attraction. On the other hand, avoiding eye contact may indicate discomfort or dishonesty. Therefore, if someone is avoiding eye contact with you while you are talking to them, then it means that either that person is trying to hide something from you, or that person is dishonest and you cannot rely on that person. Second, observe their smile. When it comes to smiling, the mouth can lie, but eyes cannot. A genuine smile reaches the eyes, crinkling the skin to create crow's feet around them. But a fake smile may only engage the lips. People often smile to hide what they are really thinking and feeling. So the next time you want to know if somebody's smile is genuine, look for crinkles at the corners of their eyes. If they are not there, then that smile is hiding something. The third sign is to notice what they say. If you are meeting someone for the first time and if they praise their life partner, their worker colleagues or their friends, then chances are they are pretty decent people themselves. If someone perceives others as kind, polite, loving and well-mannered, then it is more likely that they also possess these traits. Similarly, if someone condemns someone behind their back and describes others as manipulative and nasty, then it is possible that the person himself is like that. And you should keep away from such a person. The fourth point is that face expressions and body language can reveal lies. To detect someone's lie, pay attention to their face expressions, body language and movements. Inconsistent eye contact, restlessness or avoiding certain topics may suggest deception. Liars may display discomfort or anxiety through defensive gestures like crossed arms, inconsistencies in their story or changes in their tone of voice. All these symptoms indicate that someone is lying. Therefore, you should be careful with such a person. The fifth point is to notice their posture. If you want to measure the confidence or courage of someone, then notice how they sit or walk. For example, if someone sits upright with their back straight, and also walks upright and straight, then it indicates that they feel good about themselves and their morale is high. These kinds of people do not give up easily. They are courageous. It is not easy to suppress or dominate such a person. However, if someone sits with their back bent down or walks with their back bent down, then it means that the morale of such a person is weak and it is very easy to suppress and dominate such a person. Further, these are a few of the signals by which we can understand how someone feels inside or their intentions. Apart from this, I will tell you four more things by which you can not only read others' minds, but also improve your relationships with them. The first thing is to trust your intuition. Sometimes we fail to read people's minds or their intentions, but our inner wisdom can sense when something is wrong 
or when something is right. Our intuition draws from our subconscious mind, which has accumulated a vast amount of knowledge and impressions over time. Often, it is also called gut feeling, or a sense of knowing that something is right or something is wrong. Therefore, don't dismiss these instincts, they can guide you well. If you trust your intuition, then you can avoid getting cheated and avoid many difficulties to come in your life. The third thing is to cultivate empathy and compassion. To truly understand others, you must learn to see the world through their eyes. Cultivating empathy and compassion is a practice that allows us to truly understand others by seeing the world through their eyes and putting ourselves in their shoes. We gain insight into their emotions, thoughts and experiences by relating to their feelings and motivations. We foster understanding, reduce conflicts and promote kindness, empathy and peace in our lives, creating a more compassionate and harmonious society for all. The fourth thing is to practice mindfulness meditation. Mindfulness means being aware of your thoughts and emotions. When your mind is calm and present, you make better judgments and you respond to others more wisely. Mindfulness helps you understand how others feel, leading to better communication and fewer problems. By staying in the present moment, you make wiser choices and avoid unnecessary conflicts. Practice mindfulness for a more peaceful and understanding life, where you can navigate situations with clarity and empathy, thus saving yourself from future troubles. Therefore, embrace mindfulness, and it will enrich your relationships and bring harmony into your life. In spite of all these, if you have any doubts in your mind or you are unable to make a decision, then seek the advice of wise, trusted friends, mentors or elders. Their wisdom and perspective can provide valuable guidance to you. After saying this, the monk became silent. The man had tears in his eyes after listening to the monk. He had understood the mistakes he had made in the past, but he was also happy that now he knew how to rectify his mistakes. Then he bowed to the monk with gratitude in his heart and left from there. As days turned into weeks, the man diligently practiced the teachings of the monk. Slowly and slowly, he began to develop a deeper understanding of others and himself. Now he was no longer burdened by constant mistrust, and his relationships blossomed with honesty and authenticity. So, friends, if you also want to learn to read people's minds and improve your relationships with them, then you must adopt these teachings in your life and live a life of understanding safety and joy.